of you guys, it's Adana. Welcome back to my channel. So I have been getting all of these questions. I always get questions on shadowing. And so um, with all of this like coronavirus, COVID-19, everything shutting down, it's been even more so like concerning for my pre-PAs out there that don't have any shadowing hours on how are they gonna get it. So that's kind of what this video is gonna be about. It's really more so about a question slash answer that I have to pose to you all and, and just kind of trying to get some of your insight on what you all might think, but let's get into it. So if you haven't already done so, please go ahead and subscribe, follow me on Instagram and like this video um, cause I know you're gonna like it. So go ahead and like it ahead of time and hit that notification bell. So with respect to shadowing hours, uh, that is like the one thing in your application that you really have no control over, you like like immediate control, right? So you can fix your GRE and your GPA and you can you know study hard and get those things done really on your own. You can write a bomb personal statement. You can get the direct patient care experience by you know getting a certification in something and actually working for X amount of hours. So all of those things which are like the bulk aspects of your PA school application, you have control over it and you can fix, you can do, you can adjust that. But when it comes to shadowing hours, that's something that you really, you're at the mercy of other people. With respect to shadowing, you have to go out and find somebody that is willing to allow you to shadow. And even if they're willing to allow you to shadow, you then have to make sure that their job is willing to allow you to shadow. And that's always like a very difficult thing. And it has, constantly like and consistently become more and more difficult for pre-PAs to find shadowing hours as the years has, have gone by. All of the different stipulations through HIPAA, there you don't want any violations and it's just a really long convoluted process to make sure that you're able to like get in the door. Uh, and with that being said, now with everything shutting down because of this new virus uh, and the pandemic just hitting the world, I, again, it's just gonna be even in more increasingly difficult for students to find shadowing hours. So should PA schools just be done with it? Like do not require shadowing hours. Like have it be a plus, but not a requirement. And that is really what I wanna talk to you about today. So let me give you like my thoughts on the matter, right? I feel like PA schools should no longer require shadowing hours. Again, you're going to find it extremely difficult as the months continue to go on for hospitals to allow some random student that is not even in the medical field to come in and shadow their providers. Currently, um, the hospitals around the state that I'm in have a no visitor policy. So they're locked down to just the general public because they're trying to stem this virus. If you're trying to apply to PA school this year or next year and you don't have all of those hours in, then again, like you're not gonna be able to get to shadow anyone out of hospital and likely you're not gonna be able to shadow anyone in any office or workspace area because they're trying to reduce the amount of people in the building. So with that being said, I think that it would be beneficial for schools to make this more so something that you look at kind of like volunteer hours. It's just like, okay, like, yeah, you know, um, it's not a requirement, but, it's suggested or maybe we might like to have that because at the end of the day, we have no idea how long this is gonna pan out for. And again, you have no um, no true control over how many hours you're gonna get and how you're going to get it. I've given you guys suggestions on how to get hours you know, by reaching out online and various different things, by flying across country that's done, you know, like people aren't really flying places like that anymore, again, because of the climate that we're in. So with everything that is actually happening, I think that it's important for us to understand that there are aspects of the PA school application and PA school life that is obviously going to change and going to have to change. And I think that one of those aspects is shadowing being a requirement for some schools. So that's just my two cents. Let me know what you guys think. I'm pretty sure that you guys probably don't want shadowing required as well. It's just one less thing that you have to really focus on and worry about. But let me know in the comment section below. If you have any other questions for me, leave them in a the comment section below as well. And video ideas, please send them my way. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram and like this video. I will talk to you guys next time.